Hi guys, it's me Evie. What I have for you guys today, it's a pancake, a keto pancake breakfast with three um, slices of turkey ham and two fried eggs. Of course, only two tablespoons of the sugar-free syrup. This is a great value brand. It's pretty good. I like it. You can't taste the difference. And uh, this is actually four ounces of, um, what is it? <laughs> Almond milk. So sorry, I'm such a scatterbrain. But yes, this is what I have for you guys today. So how is everybody doing? And what is everybody eating? I see some are still doing keto with me. Some have fallen. Get back up. Dust your butts off and get back up. Get back on it. I've had to do that quite a few times. Which, let me tell you, it's not a good thing to keep doing because your body keeps going out of ketosis. That's not what you want to happen. So, But yes, how's everybody doing? Yesterday we had beautiful 80s weather. It wasn't humid at all and the breeze was nice and cool. So it was such a beautiful day. And the day is getting better now, but it was like dark, gloomy, and it's been raining well all morning because it's 11 now. I just got back from the gym. Can you tell? Oops. Yeah. So, yeah, just got back from the gym. Dark and gloomy. It's been raining. But it looks like it's starting to change. It's starting to get, well, not sunny, but brighter. Rain has stopped. So, guys, listen. I'm actually close to a thousand subscribers on this channel. As soon as I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do a thirty uh, a twenty-five dollar Visa gift card. I don't know. I don't know if I should do the Visa one or I should do the Walmart one because there's people who like to buy online, you know. So they can well they can do that with the Walmart too, but you know they can shop anywhere. I'll do the Visa, the the twenty-five dollar Visa card. So as soon as I, as soon as I hit that thousand, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using a, a plastic fork, guys. I, I watch my videos when I'm editing them. My God, I'm terrible with the, with the fork, with the regular fork, because I have the habit of scratching my teeth on it. Somebody told me about that a while ago, but I can't stop. No. And it just feels weird like the, you know, the lips on the fork. It just feels weird to me. You can tell I have that habit. So I'm going to have to get used to it with a fork like this before I use the other fork. Because we're... Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Mother's Day is around the corner. I bought a dress a few months back in the winter. And I said that's the dress I want to wear for Mother's Day. I should have shown you it, but I'm going to vlog so you'll see it. I have to fit in that for Mother's Day, guys. I have no other new dress or other new clothes to wear. I do, but like jeans and t-shirts and stuff, that's not what I want to wear. I want to wear this dress, so I'm crossing my fingers that I fit into it. Let's see how that goes for me. Mm. This milk is so good. I don't know why I was doing gallon milk. And I love milk with pancakes. This is my, my thing. The pancakes with milk. This milk is just as good. I like turkey bacon, but it doesn't really crisp up like, like the real bacon. And then when you put it a little over in the microwave, then it's like like a cracker kind of thing and I, I enjoy that but not for bacon I think <laughs> it's just weird I love these a little longer let's see things what oh I have a lot of 
things planned. I have to go, well, not plan, well, yeah, plan, but appointments. I have to go to the to the dentist Thursday and to my doctor. Not to the doctor, to the hospital to get a mammogram. And then after that, straight to the um, hospital, to the doctor's office. So we can see what the results are. Because um, before, when I was younger, um, I was taking a shower and I decided to do that um, that breast exam while I'm showering. And I felt a lump. It wasn't big or anything and it wasn't hurting me, but I knew that wasn't normal for my body. Come on, let's be honest, you guys know your body. Um, and I didn't think nothing of it, but it was still in the back of my head. So when I had an appointment, like for a physical, I told the doctor and we had, um, she gave me a referral to get a mammogram. Wow, this was in my early 30s. And sure enough, there was a little lump. And they did a biopsy on that. Everything came out normal. It's like um like a little ball of fat. Of all things, right? In the boobage. Yeah. Well that's what I had. Well thank you, Jesus. Nothing bad. No. Last month, I was taking a shower, and I was done, and I was drying off, and then I was drying around here, and then I felt right here, like on my side, I felt like a little bump, but the first bump that I felt was just like a little bump. This one feels like it's not a smooth bump. It has a little bit of a point to it, but not pointy, but just, just different from a round bump. And then the other one didn't feel hard and this one feels hard and they showed me what a bad bump feels like when you go to the office they have little displays and the nurse there or the technician whoever was there helping me she showed me so that worried me so went to the doctor gave me a referral and I'm I'm going to have my address. Doctor paper. So I got to go um, have an ultrasound. My God, those things are terrible. Well, mine is going to be um, a mammogram a bi and a bilateral diagnostic ultrasound. And if anything is found, a biopsy is required. By the way, they give you this long needle to put through your breast to numb you for when they do the biopsy. That crap don't work. That don't work. Let me tell you, I suffered that biopsy. Now I'm scared for this one, but God willing, nothing. You know? So, yeah, now I gotta get that done. With all the um, advances in technology, you figure they find like an easier or more comfortable way for a woman to have a, an, um, a mammogram. That is killer, guys. They smash you like this, like a pancake, and then they squeeze you like this, like a pancake. Not a picnic. That is, it's painful. And I used to be a 38 double D, so... I'm short and pudgy, so can you imagine what I what I look like? It was huge, so I have four pounds removed from my breast, so now I'm a small 38C. They hurt when they were huge. They hurt now that they're smaller. I cannot even imagine what the woman with way smaller breasts feels like in that machine. Because they gotta start pulling skin from the side just to get enough to smash it. And from the top and from the bottom, that is ridiculous. They gotta find a better way, an easier way. So I'll be getting one of those, but I will also be getting the ultrasound. 
they use an ultrasound machine on it just because the bump is somewhere here on the side and they can't squeeze me up in there so yeah it has to be with an ultrasound let me get it both ways mammogram and an ultrasound so yeah that's what's going on like I mentioned yesterday I had blood work done so we'll be reviewing the blood work and the um, the ultrasound and whatever else needs to get done so keep me in your prayers guys I'm fine I'm good wow I'll be getting results after Mother's Day <laughs> that's good you know I know my mom worries a lot I know my mom cries a lot so whenever I have ever gotten sick or anything that's serious I never tell her I never want to be the reason for my mom's tears ever because I was that for her for so many years when I was a teenager yeah I ran away from home she didn't know who I ran away with I was gone for two months she didn't know anything from me except for the one phone call that I made and my mom has suffered a lot because of me and then when I started to have my family I moved out to Puerto Rico with the hubby not this one my first husband and my kids and my daughter was only nine months old she didn't know till the day before I was leaving I didn't tell her she always took me baby you took my babies from me you didn't tell me <laughs> and before we left like two months before that we had taken some family portraits but you know how they take long to develop and take them to you and stuff like that so they were paid for but we left sure enough like a week after we left <laughs> guess who receives our portraits and she opened the big envelope and I told her to open my mail to see what I got or whatever yeah that's what she saw a big uh, 11 by 13 of our family and of one of my son and one of my daughter hmm my mom's had a hard life and I've made her cry a lot so whenever I'm sick or going through something I really don't tell her I don't want to do that anymore <laughs> I mean I didn't want to do it then back then either but I did and that was the reason she, was, she would cry I gotta be honest guys I'm not gonna eat this third one Millie come here Daisy come here mama come here mama Good girl. Bye. Go. Yeah. See, I like bacon, but I'm not a fan of that. Does anybody understand that? I like it. Okay. But I'm not a huge fan of that. No, I don't just to make one or two strips. Oh yeah. I feel a little bit of me story. Still liking me? I get such good, nice comments from you guys. And you guys like me. Huh. Who knew? Thank you. Oh, done with that. And I am full. I think next time I'm just having the pancakes, sausage, and just the milk. The eggs were, they were delicious. Another way that I like them. But too much food. There it is. Now I have a huge mess in my kitchen to clean. Oh, and not only that, I will be doing a tutorial on beer battered onion rings. That's gonna kill me. Because if anybody knows me, they know I love onion rings, but I won't be having these. But since the husband's been getting out of work early lately, so he'll have something to snack on while. I make dinner for later on today so I want to thank you guys for spending your time with me 
I want to thank all my new subscribers. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next mukbang. Take care and God bless.